Welcome to the BMC Service Resolution video series. My name is Darius Wallace, and I'm an R&D solution architect with BMC. In this session, we're going to talk about the installation process. This is gonna be a quick overview. There will be a more detailed session that takes you through every single steps and gives you some background and some reasons for why the installation is set up the way it is and packages and concepts and things like that. But this just gives you the basics of getting through the process because it's relatively straightforward. All the installs are wizard based. You just need to answer the prompts, follow a few steps, and we'd be good to go. Before we get into that, let's go through the legal notice and make sure everybody's on the same page about what can be distributed, copied, and all that good stuff. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this, as I mentioned, this is going to be the overview segment. In this segment, we're just going to give you the basic principles or the basic steps for getting the package installed. Let's start off by first identifying the fact that for this solution, we have two primary products. There is the service desk, the Remedy service desk product, and there is also the TrueSight event management solution. And the goal is, is for these two solutions to interact and collaborate with each other. These solutions tend to run on separate servers, and because of that, you have an installation process that involves putting information or doing an installation that applies to each of these different systems. Now, ultimately, we look to have the capability we're talking about here to be available out of the box so that you install one product, get functionality and benefit from that. You may install the other product, run that as a separate activity, get benefit from that. And then when you're ready for the two to collaborate and interact with each other, you simply identify where each of them are, put in the appropriate credentials, and things just work. However, these products release on different schedules. So there are times when we want to introduce new functionality for the flow between these two, and we may come out with a patch that would be applied on top of the already released product. Now just keep that in mind, because that leads to the basic steps that come into play for installing the solution. There are five essential steps. First thing we want to do is complete all the prerequisites. Then we'll go and download the package. We'll go to the ITSM server, apply the updates to that particular version of the software, install the patch if needed, and then do the post configuration step. Then you'll go to the TrueSight server, same thing. You'll go in and apply the relevant updates, run the installation patch if needed, and then do the post configuration steps. And finally, when you're done, we'll need to make sure that in fact you do the one click validation test to make sure everything is flowing together. Now let's spend a little bit of time on the five steps. We're gonna put up a simple diagram illustration here just to call out the key components in the solution. We have an illustration for the service desk, Remedy service desk, and we have an illustration for the uh, TrueSight event management system. And the components that you would expect are associated with the service desk, change, asset, incident, and then you also have the functions that you would expect with the event management system for TrueSight, which is event monitoring, feeding into uh, the correlation engine um, to perform all the functions you would expect there. And then, of course, we can't leave out the CMDB, which is the uh, basis for your configuration items, which will ultimately feed into your service management, and as we complete this process, also provide capability for it to feed into your event management solution. Now that we have that set up and in place, let's go through these five steps in order to get the installation complete. Pretty straightforward. Step number one, as we said, review the prerequisites. It'll give you insights about the compatibility between the two products. What version of BSR is best suited to run with the combination you have of TrueSight and Remedy Service Desk? Before you get started, you wanna make sure you back things up and then please take the time read the release notes. In the release notes, we make available directions about how to enable functionality that we may have disabled out of the box in order to protect backwards compatibility. So there's some relevant and very valuable information in the release notes that you wanna go over before you get started with the installation process. Now, after that, you can go in and pull down the package and in that package, it will contain the components you need in order to complete the installation process. First thing you'll do is you wanna go over to the ITSM system and follow these three basic steps. Just remember, update, install, configure. All update is saying is go to the server and make sure that the latest patches are running on that system. If you're running with a GA version of a particular product, for in this case for the Remedy Service Desk, make sure you have the latest hotfixes or service pack applied to that system. 
From there, inside the package, you may have an installation patch that would apply to the ITSM server. If we did not include the functionality, the new functionality in the base product release, we would provide an installation patch in order for you to get that functionality on the server for the Remedy service desk. Once that's installed, after you go through the res wizard and address all the prompts, there will be a post installation step that will allow you to go in and make sure the right um, configuration is in place for uh, the functionality to work once you get started with flowing information from the event management system into the service desk. Now, next step, go over to the TrueSight event management solution and you will then follow the same sequence of steps. Update, install, and configure. For the update, same thing, apply the latest hotfixes and patches on the version that you're running of TrueSight. Then you may or may not have an install that's necessary for you to install a patch on that server. Again, it's always our goal to roll in this base functionality into the base product. But if we come out with functionality that came out after the product was released, and we want you to have this capability outside that release cycle, we'll provide a patch, and that installation patch will be included in the BSR package. Once that's done, you'll then go in and do your post-installation configuration steps. And most times, this is just a matter of going in and telling TrueSight where the service desk is that you want to connect to. Finally, once you've completed those steps on each of those servers, you want to go to the operation called one-click test, one-click validation. What that will do is make sure all of the connection points are in place and working as expected. And that's it. Review the prereqs, download the package, do the installation on the Remedy service desk, update, install, configure, go over to the TrueSight server, same concept, update, install, configure, and then you come over to confirm that all the connection points are in place. Now, I alluded to this a little bit earlier. I said, okay, well, there's five steps and okay, plus three more. This part of the installation process really is enabling capability that's core to the TrueSight event management solution. It's looking at providing a ability to publish information in the CMDB into TrueSight. So we're gonna talk through the three high-level steps of completing that installation process and enabling that capability. In order to establish that function, establish that capability, what we have is what's referred to as the CMDB BPPM extensions. And you wanna install these extensions on the CMDB server. Before you get started, make sure you do the basic things we talked about before. You wanna read the release notes. You wanna take a backup of the AR config files on the CMDB server. Once you've done those two things, you'll then run the CMDB BPPM extension installer. It's a wizard, it pops up, it prompts you for information to let you know where the uh, TrueSight server is so that that connection can be made. Once that's done, there's a set of post-installation steps that you'll wanna follow. Let's talk about them briefly, but they're very well documented again in the release notes. Once the installation is done, you wanna to go to the AR server where the CMDB is running and you want to stop the AR server and stop the mid-tier services. The reason for this is because we're about to make a change to the AR config file. Remember that AR config file that you backed up. In that AR config file, over time, you may have put some things in there that are specific to enabling how you want your CMDB to run or the functions of AR that you want to have run. You've put that to the side and you've backed that up. When this CMDB BPPM extension installer is run, it puts down a new version of the AR config file. What you're going to need to do is take the version that you had before that has been around that you backed up and you want to make sure that you merge that in with the information that was introduced with the new config file that was, uh, that was installed as a part of the installation process. Once you have that merged file together, put it back in place, you then want to start the server back up so that it will read in all that information. 
So you start the AR server back up and let it run to completion. Make sure that the AR server is fully back up, running, running and accessible. Then start up your mid-tier servers. Once that's done, you'll go to the mid-tier, flush the cache, and then you'll be able to go over and provide the connection information for the CMDB in order to, for it to start publishing information into the TrueSight event management system. We've tried to animate and illustrate some of this so that you see where the logical connections take place, what changes it makes in what system, and you can see the holistic view of how this all comes together. Now with that all in place, the CMDB is publishing information into TrueSight. That information is being correlated with events that come in from the event monitoring systems. Once an event triggers a, um, an awareness of a failure or degradation of service on a particular CI, that would leverage your policies in order to generate the corresponding incident in the service management solution. From this session, hopefully you've gotten what you needed in order to get a basic installation up and running for BSR. This is not something that takes a lot of time. There are installation wizards when necessary to put in place that automate the process of getting the install done. We just wanted to make sure you were clear on the steps that you would follow in sequence to complete this process. Pretty straightforward. Hopefully this was helpful and we look forward to seeing you in the next session.